You know what I want to talk about today? You stupid. Let's do a second take on that real fast. There. That is much better. Uh, we're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen, but because I'm an idiot, I'm gonna include that. Include that. I can't even talk right now. As a blooper in the beginning of the video, because what you see is what you get. This is who I am. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about today? Dragon Ball Super. I think Dragon Ball Super is broken. Now, before I hop into it, this is not like an attack on the series. It's not like uh, me saying I dislike it or anything. Stuff. I love Dragon Ball Super. You know, Dragon Ball Super coming back in what 2015 was one of the coolest things to me because as somebody who grew up with the series, being able to watch it and consume Dragon Ball all over again today has been like one of the most coolest things to me. But let's be real, Dragon Ball Super is broken. Right. What does that even mean? Why are you clapping? Well, to answer that question, I feel like everything that exists in Super right now is kind of like oddly overpowered, that makes sense. There's gonna be slight spoilers to the manga. Uh, if you have not kept up with the manga, I'm not gonna talk about details, but we'll talk about certain things that get brought, brought up, like, you know, transformations and things like that. Now, to be fair, we don't know much about the most recent one, other than the fact that the fight happened and stuff like that. So we're not gonna go into depth on that. I just wanna, I might, I might bring it up is all I'm saying. So if you're spoiler squeamish, heads up. Now, here's what I mean. When Dragon Ball Z ended back in, what was it, like the 90s? And even if you count GT, the characters were where they were at at the time, you know? Even Super Saiyan 4 wasn't really that broken compared to what we have today. I feel like it was like the next step in the right direction in regards to, you know, I guess Goku and Vegeta getting stronger. And, you know, we even saw Gogeta popping up and he was snapped. <laughs> Gogeta was snapped, Super Saiyan 4. That man made uh, Omega Shiran look like it was a, a rubber ducky. So, fast forward, 2015. Well, even before that, we you know we got Battle of God and stuff like that. But really, Dragon Ball Super. We, we are in a point where stuff just doesn't really make sense in regards to, like, the power of stuff. Because everything is just broken at this point, you know? When Z ended, and even we count GT, even when G GT ended, the characters that were just basically at a position where they were all pretty powerful, and everybody would just ask themselves, it's like, what happens next? You know, we all had our little mind debates and, and um, talks and the what-if scenarios we had in our head, but no one really thought, like, oh, yeah, if Dragon Ball ever comes back, you know, We'll get in a position where everything just keeps getting slightly stronger than before. No, when, when Super comes back, and then now we're just staring at literally gods to get introduced into the series. You know, people like Zeno, they can literally snap his finger and erase the universe at the, just, the thought of just something, I don't know, make him angry. <laughs> you got Beerus who can Hakai stuff. Doesn't matter how strong you are, but I can't, according to how Hakai sounds, they can literally destroy anything. To be fair, that must be debatable because we did see stuff like Sidra's Hakai literally get tanked by Frieza, but to be fair, that was like a portion of his power. If a guy destruction was to destroy you, they can destroy you. And even though it was kind of a gag, we even saw Beerus, you know, literally Hakai a ghost in like one of those like fillery, happy episodes of Dragon Ball Super. But the point is, is like Dragon Ball Super, where it stands right now, is so broken. And every single time we keep going to like the next story arc, the next arc, you know, on and on, you know, what's happened in the series, it's just like, what happens next? And how are you guys still, you know, dealing with threats? <laughs> Picture this, right? You're a bad guy in the drama universe. You're just sitting there eating your breakfast, having a good time. You throw on some Yu-Gi-Oh in the morning. And Toriyama shows up to your house, pats you in the back and says, Hey, guess what? You're going to be the next bad guy in Dragon Ball. Do you know how fearful that villain has to be? Like, bro, I don't care how much you pay me. I'm not fighting Goku and Vegeta. Have you seen them? Uh, Toriyama, you, you got to give me some crazy power-ups. Maybe I'll think about it. But right now, I'm good. I, 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 I want no part of it. When the turn of power ended, even before we got the Broly, we have Goku who achieved Ultra Instinct where he can't even get a hit. It's a transformation that literally just like autopilots for him. He's a, he's a walking auto combo. If you play Dragon Ball Fighters, he is literally the definition of walking square button. Which is funny because his UI form on Fighters square button is very, very good. But you know what I'm saying? It's like the characters are so snapped right now. It's like, what do you do to add a threat? And then of course now in, in, in the manga, you got Granola who popped up and literally just wished for power. But even then it's like that power is just temporary right there, you know? At some point, both Goku and Vegeta are going to overpass them, or surpass them, and then take them out. That's, that's what they do. So it's like, what 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 happens? At which point will Dragon Ball Super realize, what do we do now? <laughs> like, after Granola, we're going to get the final fight where Beerus is going to take on Goku and Vegeta, and then they'll secretly reveal that Beerus has been holding back this whole time, which I personally did. I, I think I think we're, we're at a point with Beerus where, yes, he has been surpassed, but at any moment, Toriyama can just be like, you know what? 
Beerus is not even fought in his full strength, you know? Just like how we saw Sidra's Hakai energy not be able to take out Frieza, it wasn't his full power, you know? Sidra could have easily given him more energy and it probably could have erased Frieza, and then, man, the tournament power would have ended completely differently end of the day but i don't know am i the one who feels about this in the comment section below let me know your thoughts now again i don't want this to be like a, a a video to knock the series just something i've been thinking about pretty much ever since super came back you know again you have to look back when dragon ball z ended you know kid Buu just showed up goku beat him you know vegeta technically teamed up with him they used the the big spirit bomb well goku did they took out kid Buu. when that series ended it's like okay this is this is cool it's leaving a lot of room for the series to end peacefully and then you know they can continue to get a little bit stronger but never could you ever imagine at, at that time if you saw z end that they were going to take it to the point where they become literally gods you know <laughs> even when battle of gods came out and the resurrection f seeing them go to super saiyan god and then go beyond that to super saiyan blue it's like man the 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 limits for these characters are just incredible so what's next at some point are we going to see we, we could is goku and vegeta at some point going to become magical and get magical abilities i mean we even saw with vegeta in the manga went to to Yardrat to learn about the the spirit fishing thing where you can basically um you know what he was doing in the manga again I'm not gonna talk about too heavy in case there are spoiler talks and you're still hanging out you can check it out for yourself in the manga but it's like it's like where where, where are we going with the series and at which point are we gonna get a threat where it's like you know it's gonna feel like a threat because even with Moro I liked Moro was like that character where he's beyond strength just because he is magical and at that point there's a lot of ways to basically power down Goku and Vegeta and, and that made sense but even like with Granola right now and I talked about this in my last video I feel like Granola is just he uh I don't think Granola is gonna be a threat <laughs> and I still think there's gonna be another character that's gonna pop out last second that's gonna be the main threat in this current arc so it's like wh what is happening you know are we gonna get the point where both Goku and Vegeta like fully master their abilities and then they're just gonna be the most broken characters in anime history well, not anime history. There's other characters that obviously exist. You know, you got Sailor Moon, who's actually snapped. And the Bleach universe has some crazy characters. But you know what I mean? They, they, they're gonna be at the top, and that says a lot already because they already were at the top of the list. <laughs> There's a lot of broken characters out there in the in the anime world. So I don't know. I, it's just something that I was thinking to myself the other day. Actually, thinking of a lot about it in the last couple of weeks. And I, I kind of want to sit down and make a video to talk about this because I feel like it's just it's interesting scene. You know, Goku literally has autopilot mode. You can't hit this man. How are you supposed to fight somebody you can't hit? Make it make sense make that make sense oh wait my power runs out because i'm tired i'm out of breath that's how you beat me he's gonna master that <laughs> when he like fully masters that he's literally never gonna get hit you know and then now we got vegeta's ability with uh with the god of destruction form where i guess ultra ego i like i still like how it's ultra instinct and ultra ego you got ultra ego where literally that man can just tank hits left and right and right now we saw in a manga when he used that he did eventually run out of stamina and he took too many hits but at some point he's gonna even master that and it's like, at that point, will you just be a walking tank, completely unbeatable, and just take out anybody that just breathes in this direction? I don't know. Man, you know, here's a question I have. How many more arcs do you think Dragon Ball Super actually has? Because end of the day, I know that Toei, Shueisha, and, you know, everybody that's working on the team does not want to end Dragon Ball. You know, they, they literally established the Dragon Ball room for a reason a couple years ago. But now, every single time we go into a new arc, I'm still thinking to myself, like, how much more do you got? Like... Who's, who's after Granola? You know, are you going to, at some point, have them fight someone that's incredibly immortal that can't lose? In which case, what do you do then? Do you call Zeno? Well, I mean, no. Technically, we saw that already. <laughs> we had them fight Zamasu, and Zeno had to literally delete Zamasu at the end of that arc. So it's like, what, what where are we going with it, you know? Again, I'm not knocking it. I love the Dragon Balls here. It's something that I grew up with. It's been a huge part of my life. And obviously, today, it's a big part of my life. And it's just interesting to know that, you know, this is the world that exists now in Dragon Ball. And it just always reminds me when I was a kid thinking, like, you know, with my crazy what-if scenarios. Like, what if, you know, Frieza and, and, and Cell came out of hell and fused? You know, back then when I was watching the anime only. What if they fused and make this super crazy powerful character? What did, what did it do? Well, obviously, Goku and Vegeta fused, make Gogeta, yada, yada, yada. Like, I always had these, like, what-if scenarios. And now I'm looking at how Dragon Ball is today. I'm just like, man, <laughs> boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to kind of sit down and talk about this because I feel like this is one of those fun discussions. And apparently you guys do enjoy seeing the discussions that we've been doing about Dragon Ball Super every now and then. I do want to keep doing this maybe once a month, maybe like two, three times a month to just kind of hop in because it's always fun to like, you know, pick your brains and see how you guys feel about certain things that happen in the series. So at any point, if I discuss anything and touch any subject, let me know in the comment section below and let's talk about it. But yeah, uh, we should be getting the newest chapter very, very soon. I still think that Ultra Ego has more to it and he didn't technically lose. But then again, you know, Granola has a shotting gun now, so he probably is going to do something that's going to, you know, be an asshole for him. But at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. Look, all we care about with Dragon Ball is the characters, the cool characters, the flashy fights, 
and then the, the ass pull moments to make the fights hype. You know, that's all that's be real. That's why we watch Dragon Ball. It's a fun series that doesn't require you to really like overthink things, which we tend to do sometimes, but it's just a fun series to sit down and just kind of consume on a uh, more, I don't know what to call it, like casual anime level, you know? Sometimes I just want to hop on, you know, and then tune into, you know, the old fights like Goku fighting Frieza or sell and go on stuff like that and just kind of kick back and not really think about stuff that, like again that's what makes dragon ball so brilliant the characters are fun the fights are flashy it's enjoyable and it's just iconic anyway so i'm gonna end it right here i think dragon ball super is broken the characters are broken i have no idea where they're going with it but you know what i'm here for the ride so in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on anything we discussed and again if you enjoy seeing these discussion videos like this i'll pop it out here and there every now and then so yeah again we're not gonna talk about me putting on my hoodie backwards because why are we talking about old stuff yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm done. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the comment section below. Peace.